Hello, thank you for tuning into my channel. It's Whip It Wednesday for Wednesday, June 16th, 2021. So if you want to see what I've been working on this week, please stay tuned. So this week has been pretty busy. Um, I don't know if I mentioned last week that I've been in a class for the past two weeks. Um, and so my sewing has really diminished. Um, if you are a music teacher, you will understand when I say ORF level two and what that means. Um, but I'm currently in uh, looking at that, completing that class this week. So hopefully next, by Friday, um, all of that class will be done and I can really focus a little bit more on my sewing. I did get a little bit done this week, um, but because of the way the class schedule runs and what's involved in the class, there's a lot of moving and singing and playing instruments and then actual, um, some other actual brain learning stuff. So like learning how to teach and, te and um, methods and ways to adapt for my classroom and that kind of thing. So by the time I get home, I'm usually pretty tired and so my sewing doesn't get done as much as I would like. But I did get some finishes in this week, so or not, I got one finish in this week. So we're gonna start with that. This is the beginner sampler quilt top right here. If you've been following my channel, this is a, um, it is a top that I made over the course of several months. And I've made a video for each of these blocks. Um, it is a beginner friendly sampler quilt. And so each of the blocks is very accessible. I will put a link to the playlist um, in the description box so you can go back and look at it. Last week I had the top two um, blocks or rows sewn together with the sashing in the middle. This week I added um, my last two rows. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out. The sashing is cute, the cornerstones are nice, um, and I'm ready for whatever the next step is. I don't think there's gonna be a border on this, but I just have it uh, here waiting to see if it's gonna be next or if I'm gonna to go to another project. So let's check out everything else I've been working on. Now I wanna show you the progress that I've made on my Busybody quilt. I have it right here. Let's see, I'm gonna put it right side up. Let's see, this way. Okay, so. The verticals have been done for a while. Hopefully, hopefully you can see those in the border. And then I've been working on the horizontals. Let me see. You can see it this way. And the furthest I've got on these is I have most of them done. I just have two more um, rows of stitching to do on the horizontal. So this one's almost done. Um, after I'm done with the horizontals, I am gonna go and put some diagonal lines so that I can get um, these cornerstones quilted. I'm just gonna put a diagonal line that goes through each of the rows. So everything is going to be, um, hopefully everything will be pretty secure. Um, my main concern is these cornerstones at, at the end, I wanna make sure that they're secure as well because the borders will be quilted. Um, so I'm really happy with this. If you haven't um, seen the videos on my Busybody quilt, there is one where I show um, a finished busy body quilt. And then there's another video or another playlist where I make this, um, this particular quilt on camera and you can see that process. I'll link both of those in the description box so that you can check those out. If you're interested in the pattern for this quilt, it is available on my Etsy shop. That's also gonna be linked in the description box. Check it out if you are interested. There's only one other thing that I've been working on. I recently got an order for some uh, memory pillows and I've made these before, but I actually had to go back and watch my video to remind myself how to make them. So right now I have an order of 10 of these and I finished the first two of them. So I got those, these done this week. Hopefully um, in the next week or so I will get all the other ones done and then I have another order of two decorative pillows that I will have to get done before my vacation um, so I'm really excited to get these finished they're a really simple project um, if you are interested in making memory pillows I'll put two videos that I've made about this process in um, the description and you can check those out I am still 
um, getting my ideas and um, preparing to make my Vlogmas in July videos. So if you're new to my channel, every July, um, I think this will be my third year doing Vlogmas in July. So it's like Christmas in July, except with a daily vlog. So I will put a video up every day in the month of July. Um, and I'm looking for some uh, topics that you're interested in me showing. If there's some techniques that you'd like to see me try um, explain or if there's um, questions that you want answered I'm thinking about doing a Q&A um, video so if you're interested in that leave your question in the um, description box uh, let's see um, I still will do my Whip It Wednesday and my Sunday videos but the rest of the month I can kind of play with so um, any suggestions that you have leave them in the comments I would love to know what you are looking forward to in July um, for the next week, my goal is number one, to finish my class, which we, we should finish up on Friday, um, and then hopefully get finish up my projects to and get ready for my vacation. Um, put in the comments what you're concerned, not what you're concerned about, what you're excited about, what you're working on as well. Um, if you have any questions about what you've seen in the video, leave them in the comments, thumbs up this video, and share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.